Welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to print individual uh, labels or how to print a full sheet of the same label. And very simple to do. Again, I'm in a blank document here and I'm going to come here to mailings and I'm going to go ahead and click on labels right here. And again, this is what you use to print an individual label or a full sheet of the same label. If you're doing labels for a mail merge where you've got multiple uh, different labels that you want to print, you're going to do, use mail merge and labels. But for individual labels or a full sheet of the same label, you can just click on labels right here and this dialog box will come up. First thing you need to do is type in the information for the label. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the address here. And now you're going to go ahead and choose whether you want a full page of the same label. So maybe if these were return address labels, you may want to print a full page of them. But I just want to print a single label. Now by default, it's going to print this address, name and address, in the label in the upper left-hand corner. The label that's in the first row and the first column. But what that does is it leaves you oftentimes with a sheet where just one label has been used. So you can quickly come in here and change the row or the column that you want it to print on if you've already used the upper left hand position. You can see the type of label that you're going to print to right here. And right now I'm using a normal Avery 5160. If you wanted to choose a different label type, all you have to do is click on the label right there. Again, just click anywhere here and it's going to bring you into this dialog box. It will allow you to choose the manufacturer and the um, type of label that you're printing to. And again, I'm just using Avery 5160s here. So I'll click OK and I'll just do full page of the same label to show you that. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, I can click on print to send it directly to the printer or I can click on new document to create a new document with all these labels on it. Click new document and there are my labels. And again, if we had chosen just single label, it would have positioned that label exactly where we told it to. Let's go ahead and do that one this time. I'm just going to go ahead really quickly and close this out. I'm back in my blank document here and I'm going to click labels. And I'm going to go ahead and enter that information in again. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to do a single label. And let's say we want it to print in the third row, second column, because that's the first blank label or unused label. I'm going to go ahead and click on print, and it would send that to the printer. Notice you don't have the option for new document here because you're just printing an individual emblem or an individual label. And that's all there is to printing uh, individual labels inside of Word. 